Hey, welcome back to Base Grade. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can pre-assign students into breakout rooms using Google Meet. There are seven simple steps to get this done. So follow through to the end of the video and you'll see how it's done. Now you will need uh, access to a Google Workspace for Education Plus account here. Step one, create a new Google Calendar event. So let me go ahead and show you this. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a date and time. I'm going to say Tuesday at 9 a.m. So here we go. I'm just going to call this Math Revision. Step two, add Google Meet video conferencing. So go down to here and click on Google Meet. You want to uh, add a Google Meet here. Step three, you want to add participants. So go ahead and find your participants, add your guests here. Step four, once you've added all of your guests, then click on change conference settings. I'm gonna go down here to this settings wheel. I'm gonna click on that. Step five, on the left-hand side, just click on breakout rooms. Step six, choose the number of breakout rooms and then move your participants to your designated group. So here we are, I'm gonna choose two groups. So I'm gonna click down here and I'm gonna move my participants to the groups that I want them in, okay? So here we go, look. Step seven, click save. So go ahead and save this event. And now this will be sent out to the participants. And when they click on join, when they click that meeting link, they will actually start that meeting in their designated groups. This is useful for many applications when you're doing group work. So if you've already got teams, then the teams can get straight onto collaborating onto their project instead of wasting time joining the me and then joining you putting them into breakout rooms, finding out who's where. Also, let's say for example, you're doing um, a whole team meeting, okay, like a year meeting, and you've got uh, different advisory groups, then you can start your participants, your teachers and advisors in that, into that particular group. Or let's say, for example, it's a whole school meeting or a whole, you know, um, organization meeting, you can set your members in their departments straight away. And so the heads of the departments can start, you know, initiating whatever um, agenda is in that meeting. And then you might want to come all together as an organization and then talk upon, um, you, you know, a whole school or a whole organization agenda. So it's really useful uh, for those instances. If you found that helpful, let me know by dropping a like on the video and share that with a colleague who you think that might be useful too. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.